her mom, Tracy, and her fiance, Xavier, both join us. And I first of all just want to say how very sorry I am for your loss. Thank you. Thank you. I want you, if you can, Tracy, just tell us a little bit about Demi. Oh, she was an amazing daughter, full of life, beautiful, loved her family, friends. She was ready to start her second part of her life with a baby and just wanted to, you know, just enjoy her life. Yeah, and she was literally everything you can ask for in a, mm -hmm. a partner in life. Um, very patient, very loving taught you a lot about yourself more than what you would know. You know, she really pushed you and wanted good for you, not just for me, but for everybody that she was around. She just genuinely loved people and wanted to help people. How are you doing? Because you lost not only the woman you were going to marry, but your son at the same time. How, how have you been doing with all that? Um, it's not easy for sure, but um, I, I don't even uh, touch the ground unless I pray. Um, I have to do that before I even start my day because it's, it's that rough, you know? It's very hard, and I wouldn't want to wish this upon anybody for sure. My whole life, just, it's hard, you know. It's, it gets really lonely in the mornings and at night. And for everyone at home, just a little information. Demi had what's called preeclampsia, and it impacts about one in every 25 pregnancies in the U.S. With preeclampsia, you have onset of high blood pressure during pregnancy, and sometimes it's diagnosed after a woman delivers. But with the high blood pressure, some women will have an increased level of protein in the urine, and sometimes they complain of things like headache, blurry vision, pain at the top of their belly, or swelling, kind of things like that. But if it's not properly treated, it can be dangerous for, for mom and our baby. And dangerous quickly. And that new onset high blood pressure with swelling can be markers for this. And they can, it can lead to seizures and can yes. lead to death. You know, women need, need to know that. And I want to ask you this, Dr. Nita, because this is, this is difficult. When you're, you become pregnant, it's usually one of the most joyful times in your life. How do you go about finding the right OBGYN to, to shepherd you through this process? I think word of mouth is great. See who your friends went to and ask them if they had a good relationship with that person. And you can always, you know, look online to see if there are any complaints against a doctor. But always remember that just because there's a complaint, that doesn't necessarily mean the doctor is guilty, but that is a piece of the puzzle that you can that you can evaluate. Also, when you're looking at hospitals, you can ask about the C-section rate, you can check in on the complication rate. But I will say, you should remember that some hospitals are small and they only take care of moms who have routine pregnancies, no complications, whereas there are some larger facilities who will accept a lot of sicker moms. And as a result, they may have more C-sections because the patient population is just sicker.